Hello and welcome to pmslounge.com. Some of our new subscribers might not really know that we keep covering industry reports as well. These industry reports help you stay up to date with what's happening in the world of project management. Now it is fantastic to be a PMP certified project manager, but if you truly desire to be the expert in your industry, you need to know what's really happening in the project management industry to begin with. So these reports that we cover, they help you with just that. Today, we are covering a report called AI at work. And I have gone through it. I have made my uh, highlights and uh, underlined the information that I should be sharing with you in this video. So this report is available for free over at PMI's official website and I will add the direct link to it in the description below. You should download your own copy and read it. It's a beautiful report. We will only refer to it in this video. All copyrights acknowledged and no copyrights infringement intended at all. This report also has a story from Alibaba and how they have implemented artificial intelligence, AI at their work. So we will cover that story as well. You would definitely want to stick around for that. So this is the report that we are going over AI at work, new projects, new thinking. This is by PMI. I'll share the direct link to this report. First link in the description. You can go ahead, come to this web page, scroll down and download your own copy. Read through all of it. I have highlighted some of the section, underlined some of the section in my offline copy that I am going to go over in this video. If you are comfortable with other languages, you can download your own language as well this report in your own language and then read it through so i have the english version open here this is what that comes up once you download the english version and they start off with telling you a few examples of where artificial intelligence is already helping the industry today mapping the world's coral reefs this is something artificial intelligence is already doing streamlining communication between colleagues even when they don't speak the same language this is this is groundbreaking right you can communicate with folks that don't speak your language that is how ai is helping streamlining the communication at work so artificial intelligence is already helping uh, with some of these uh, examples given and like i mentioned we will cover uh, alibaba's case study in this video and that's where you will find a glimpse of this now two important things to know innovators and laggards innovators are the one that follow the three tenets of a high pmtq laggards are those that don't follow those principles what are these tenets or principles of high pmtq so high pmtq is defined by three essential characteristics always on curiosity looking for emerging project delivery practices without chasing after every new digital trend so don't go after every new digital trend but keep looking for emerging project delivery practices all inclusive leadership getting the best out of your teams whether they are human or machine physical resources or human resources you are the one getting the best out of your project team a future proof talent pool which means you recruit the right people with the right mindset and the mindset is that they keep themselves current and they keep learning the new stuff and they also do and help their teammates do the same so these are the three tenets of high pmtq and that is how innovators and laggards are defined now why do i want you to make sure that you know what innovators and laggards are it is because of this example that we are going to go over ai awareness and experience technologies innovators remember innovators and laggards so innovators boast far more experience than laggards with these technologies have managed project involving technology 
involving AI. So type of technology, type of AI technology, knowledge based systems. Now people working in AI innovators organization, right? Innovators organization, 45% of them said that they have worked in projects which have knowledge based systems. People working in legards, only 20% have done so. Decision management, 34% and 19%. Voice assistant, working in organizations that have voice assistant. In innovators organization, 26%, while legards, only 14%. Speech recognition, robotic process automation, expert systems, virtual agents, graphic processing units, facial recognition, conversational computing, deep learning, natural language generation. All of these are AI related technologies. And if you work for innovators organization, you have these many people that have responded to this survey and have said that they have worked in on projects that involve these technologies. Let me know in the comments below. Have you worked on any of the projects that involve these type of technologies definitely looking forward to your answers and trying to understand where are we when it comes to ai by 2030 for example ai could replace up to 20 million manufacturing jobs worldwide and this is according to a 2019 report by oxford economics 20 million manufacturing jobs with all that happening in the world today this could be a disaster of a news now although if you are a project manager you shouldn't be worried much because here's a quote we will always have a need for project managers i don't see the technology taking that over this comes from allison backen senior vice president and global head of technology program office in thomson reuters in usa so now let's talk about the example the case study of alibaba that i promise you that we are going to cover and it's right up there on page number two so what does it talk about it talks about how artificial intelligence is already being used by alibaba alibaba is known for its bleeding edge ai projects look no further than its dian xiaomi an AI powered, so Dian Xiaomi is basically a chatbot that can understand more than 90% of customer queries and serves more than 3.5 million users a day. So there you have it. Call center jobs, support related jobs are all taken over by Dian Xiaomi which is an AI powered chatbot and it can understand more than 90% of customer queries. This is groundbreaking, right? But the company isn't stopping there. It's also incorporating AI into its employees daily lives. This was customer facing. Now let's take a look at some of the internal examples of how Alibaba is making use of AI. So what do they do? Number one is facial recognition. So you don't have to swipe, you know, your traditional swiping of ID badges. That is not required anymore because in Alibaba's Hangzhou campus, they make use of facial recognition. So they have your facial uh, information that can be recognized by their systems and you can access the office spaces so internal security you know within alibaba internal security jobs they are at risk here if they implement facial recognition everywhere right then you got expert systems now of course when i say internal security obviously when you deploy a system like facial recognition you need new people with these kind of uh, skills right but the skill set of traditional internal security of making sure that you know the id badge swiping system works those skill sets are not required anymore let's move on to expert system so what's happening here is there's something known as alivark which is the company's embedded expert system this is trained on database of the company's most frequently asked questions so employees have certain questions that they want to ask and when they ask such questions let's say 
which meeting rooms are available how do you set up a video conference these are questions that people have within the organization and as of today there could be an internal IT and support team that helps Alibaba's employees you know with all these questions but they have now come up with something called alivark this alivark embedded expert system is going to take away the internal it and support jobs next is natural language processing so there's something called ding talk which is alibaba's enterprise level administration and communication app it was designed from the beginning to be used for a faster paced working atmosphere what does it do along with automatically translating the sender's voice message into text messages on the recipient's phone the app can also translate messages between languages and this was the example that we started this uh, report with right we said that it can help colleagues communicate with each other even when they don't speak the same language ding talk which is internal alibaba's uh, you know an app that they have developed it helps them do just that you can translate your messages between languages and that's how alibaba is making use of ai at their workplace so that's all that we had in this video smash that like button if you got value out of it we have more such reports second link in the description below is going to take you to the page that contains all such reports that we have done in the past also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content and don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you